Hi friends, Sylvia here. I'm really excited because today is a new moon and the new moon is in Leo. So let's talk a little bit about it. New moon in Leo. It means fun, passion, expression, uh, confidence, drama. Like Leos, they're so cool. My brother's a Leo. Growing up with a Leo, definitely a lot of drama, a lot of passion, a lot of action, always doing, doing on the go. And that's what this new moon season is all about. So cool because new moons are the start of a moon cycle. It's a great time to create a new plan, have a fresh start, do something you haven't been doing for a while and plan it out and create this plan and set it for the next 28 days till that next new moon next month in October. Or I'm sorry, in September, I'm already jumping to October. You guys know. I love autumn, so I'm already wanting the autumn to hit. September is not autumn in California yet, even though it officially starts on September 22nd. But anyways, coming back to this Leo new moon. So new moons are a great time to do fresh starts, you know, to kind of just start a new project or, um, you know, whatever it is. And because we're in the Leo new moon, it's a great time to do something bold and brave and brash. So, um, Things like um, maybe starting a big painting, a mural. Um, maybe you are starting a, something for the community that stands out. Maybe um, it's a great time to work on um, a really big project that takes a lot of energy. Um, I know it's a hot time of year. Summer is rough, especially the end of summer, especially if you live in hot areas like I am in Central California, anywhere in California for that matter. Um, but if you can find a way to work with the weather, this is the best time to start those big, big projects we're, because we're coming towards the colder time of the year when things start to slow down, there's gonna be less daylight hours. So even though it's hot, we can wake up early and get a lot done before the sun really starts to pound down and using that sun energy as a way to um, drive us and also the sun schedule as a way to keep us balanced and create a schedule as well. Um, another great uh, thing to practice right now during this Leo new moon is balance. So I wanted to put together a nice Leo yoga series or yoga sequence, not series, Leo and new moon yoga sequence for you. Just five e easy poses. So I will be posting another video after this. So if you're interested in doing yoga, it's a great time to uh, practice or get into yoga or any kind of movement practice that helps you to stay focused, meditation, walking, hiking, any of those things that help you to kind of work on um, being more self-aware so that you can be more balanced. Because we come, Leos, if you come from that place of Leo coming forward with that boldness, you also wanna come forward with some awareness as well. Don't wanna come in like a bull in a china shop just coming and knocking everything down, right? So we wanna have that balance and um, open-mindedness, open flexibility, all of those things are really important. Um, so finding your balance between patience and passion. Leos are also um, represented by the sun. They're a fire sign, so very bold. They're also represented by the third chakra, which is an envisioning chakra. Great time, it kind of aligns with the new moon, right? So get out those amethyst crystals, my friends, and sit with them in the new moon tonight and do some envisioning and write out your plans for the next 28 days for this new moon cycle. Okay, use those. Um, amethyst is great. Labradorite, uh, Labradorite is a great stone also for envisioning. Um, it's not necessarily like a super strong Leo stone, but any stone can be made to, I'm trying to get the light to reflect here. You can't really see the flash in this stone. Sometimes it, there it goes. See that little bit of flash? There's like secret colors inside Labradorite and that's why it's considered a really great third eye envisioning stone, dreaming stone. And the last stone, which is a really great Leo stone, is citrine. Citrine um, promotes success and self-confidence. It's a great stone for um, um, building that Leo confidence and passion. So working with those stones, maybe keeping them around you, around your workplace as you're working on your new project. So those are things you can do for your new moon in Leo um, starting tonight and goes on for another 28 days. We're going to we're gonna hit the full moon midway, and so I'll be working with you guys on our full moon coming up next month. And in the meantime, have a great day, be awesome, and keep on keep a lookout for the next video, um, the Leo uh, new moon in Leo yoga sequence, which is just like I said, just gonna be five 
um, little poses. It'll be nice and simple. And thanks for watching me here, guys. I will be back soon. Bye. But it is nice to create balance in your life. And when you do, I feel like things um, come out a little bit more uh, accessible to others and to yourself. So let's talk a little bit how we can balance out uh, a plan and create. I'm doing a video and Tiny's pooping in the background.